An East Yorkshire off-licence is using fingerprint technology to try and deter teenage drinkers. Rod Parker has installed the equipment because he's worried about losing his licence if he fails to spot a youngster buying alcohol. Well, our correspondent Paul Murphy is in Bridlington tonight. Uh, what's been the problem at Mr Parker's off-licence then, Paul? Peter, this uh, shop, this off-licence, is but a stone throw from a school of several hundred pupils. And Mr Parker says that on a daily basis he was running the risk of serving uh, under-18s with alcohol, cigarettes and DVDs. He didn't want to do that and risk prosecution. He's installed the fingerprint scanner for his own protection and for the sake, he says, of the wider community. What this news agent says he's doing is taking the guesswork out of selling cigarettes and alcohol to young people. Selling to the underage is a serious offence which could cost him his livelihood. We want to see a driving licence or a passport. We will then put their fingerprint onto the system. And once their fingerprint's on the system, is all they need to do each time is come in and put their thumbprint or finger, whichever they use, onto the system. And we will then let them have the goods. 18-year-old Brett was signing up to the scheme this morning. He needs to hand over his ID only once and his fingerprint is recorded for future use. If I forget it now I don't have to really use my ID anymore so it's better really because um, I don't have to keep showing my ID. The shop is sited close to a large local college and in the first week of this scheme more than 70 young people between 18 and around 25 had already signed up. It stops them getting alcohol, cigarettes at all times. I mean, they should introduce it into clubs as well. If you forget your ID and you've still got that there, then you don't have to like, run back and get it or no one gets in the mood. Still want to stop underage drinkers because you still see them on a the night asking people to get them fags or booze or whatever they want. Shop owners face regular checks to make sure they're not selling drink and cigarettes to those who are underage. What the owner of this shop says his new system will do is ensure that it's highly unlikely he'll ever end up in court. Fingerprint scanners are in growing use, from school registers to nursery security. But because they use the most precious of unique personal data, they are controversial. Your fingerprint is your fingerprint for life. But our children, two and a half million children, have their biometric details on school databases. The government are offering biometric ID cards to 18 to 25 year olds cheaply. Now it seems you can't go to your local off license in Bridlington without them wanting you to, to use biometric details. Before we know it, our biometric details will be circulating the world and they will not be on secure databases. The scheme does free young people from constant requests for proof of age and ID. But critics are warning that such convenience comes at a cost when such sensitive information is being so freely exchanged. Well, uh, important to say that this is a voluntary scheme, but it has had an enthusiastic response from all of the people who've joined uh, into it. Uh, 70 so far in just nine days here in Bridlington. Uh, there are the issues around identity and security, but certainly the young people I spoke to today don't seem to have any deep concerns about giving their fingerprints to a, a scanning machine. Well, thank you very much indeed. Uh, some people do. Joining me on this one tonight is Alex Dean from Big Brother Watch. Uh, Alex, good evening to you. Good evening to This you. is a great way of ensuring that Mr Parker doesn't break the law and end up losing his licence. You must welcome it. I don't, I'm afraid. Viewed from that perspective, I completely sympathise with him because he's being bullied by a bureaucracy that acts in a completely disproportionate way when someone does something wrong. He shouldn't lose his license if he honestly makes a mistake and sells a six-pack of lager to a 17-year-old. But people watching but say we don't want uh, cigarettes and drinks sold to underage. They they'll actually welcome this. They'll see it as a positive move. But you've got really, I think, to weigh up the cost that comes with that benefit. And I'd say to the young people in that area watching this show tonight, your fingerprints are yours, and once that data is lost, you can never get it back again. I'm afraid, and whilst I understand why this uh, gentleman's doing what he's doing, uh, it is very foolish of any individual to take on for himself the burden of retaining information that is as important and as private as this. But what is, there, really, what is there to worry about? I mean, it's a voluntary scheme. No, nobody's got to do it. Yes, I'm not saying anyone's making the individuals do it. The point is that once he's got that information, there's really no genuine way that an individual can be certain to retain it safely. And that's why any responsible provider, like Microsoft or Cisco Systems, who makes software like this, 
explicitly advises individuals not to accumulate data like this because once you've got it, there is too high a risk of losing it. And once you've lost it, you can never get it back. So a, a, a girl who is, say, 19 but looks underage is thinking about having a thumbprint done so she's got no problems buying goods in the future. She's watching tonight. What would you say to her? If it's that important to you to buy your booze at the off-licence in um, Bridlington, take your passport. But don't, don't give up your thumbprint.